viewers over the world. Aba tulaba munsi yona. Good morning. Ama chama lunji. I want to say we love you. Njagalo bagamba ntubagala nyo. In Christ Jesus holy name. Mulinye tukuvedya Kristo Yesu. Our simple topic today. Omutwe gwa fomu wango gwa lero. No winner without a competitor. Tewali muwanguzi atali kamu vuganya. No success without a challenge. Tewali muwanguzi awatali kusomo ozebua. Could this challenge lead you to success? Okusomo ozebua kuno kuandibanga kwe kukutuala mbu wanguzi. All it is well. Bio nabili bulu unji. But you... Ask God to give you success. Na hiwa saba katonda kuobu wanguzi. Ha, ha. To God be the glory. Echitiwa chidedi katonda. You ask God. Wasaba katonda. To promote you. O kukuza. Without a test. A watalichigezo. You ask God. Wasaba katonda. To give you success. O kuobu wanguzi. Without a challenger, ah, what are you so moza? It is never there. Techiri yo. Even when you want to become a doctor, never will you go like fuka msa wa mutende. As young as you are, mubuto bunga buoli. From the nursery, okuva mu nursery, you must be challenged with the tests. Ote kwa kuso moza wana bigezo. In order to be promoted to a second class. Okuso bolo kuziwa no ita no genda mchibi ne chidaku. To go be the glory. H.T. watch Deli Katonda. Call this challenge. Okuso moze wakuno. Lead you to a winning point. Kwa andi kutusa. Kumutindo guobu wanguzi. Call this challenge. Okuso moze wakuno. Lead you to success. Kwa andi kutusa mbu wanguzi. To go be the glory. H.T. watch Deli Katonda. Let's see what the Bible says. Katulabe Bible liche gamba. 1 Samuel 17. Samuel Echisoka, Esule Yekumi no Musamvu. From verse 40. Okuwa kurunyiriri Oruana. Then he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five small stones from the brook, and he put them in a shepherd's bag, in a porch, which he had, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near the first time. So the first time came and began drawing near to David, and the man who bore the shield went before him. And when the first time looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and good-looking. So the first time said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the first time cast David by his gods. And the first time said to David, Come to me and I'll give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the first time, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you, and this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the feastern to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hands to go be the glory. Listen to these words. That time Saul was the king. And the king was the man who was designed to defend his people. But when the Israels, the armies, and the king so had Goliath, 
ne kabaka sawulo bwe baulira ne balaba goliasi listen to what happened ulirize chabawo i'm reading 17:10 of first samuel nsoma samuel ekisoka 10 na msambo olunyirira le 10 and the first and said i defy the armies of israel this day give me a man that we may fight together when so and all israel heard these words of the first time they were dismayed and greatly afraid verse 24 and all the men of israel when they saw the man fled from him and were dreadfully afraid so the men of israel said have you seen this man who has come up surely has come up to defy israel and it shall be that the man who kills him the king will enrich with great riches will give him his daughter and give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Verse 26. Then David spoke to the men who stood by him, saying, What shall be done for the man who kills this first time and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised first time that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him in this manner, saying, So shall it be done for the man who kills him. Verse 31. Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and they sent for him. Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this first time. And so say to David, you are not able to go against this first time to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. And this uncircumcised first time will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of the first time. And so said to David, Go, and the Lord be with us. Verse 48. So it was when the first time arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran towards the army to meet the first time. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone, and he slung it and struck the first time in his forehead, so that the stone sank into his forehead and they fell on his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the first time with a sling and a stone and they struck the first time and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. No winner. Tewali muanguzi. Without a competitor. Ataliko amvuganya. No success. Tewali muanguzi. Without a challenge. Awatali kusomo zebwa. Could this be your day for success? Could these challenges lead you to success? To go be the ground. God was looking for a man who could stand and defend his people. It may be that all your clan is poor. But you have believed God. Now, God has chosen you. Put you forward Na to be the one leading your family, nga gwe huyo, de family yo. into success, which success had been hindered for years. Obu wanguzi, obu 
I'm born again. But I've seen many challenges. Could these challenges lead you to success? Why do you fear to compete? To go be the glory? You are welcome to the competition ground. What is your challenge today? Is it a sickness? Challenging you? He said, hmm. Who is this first time? Who has come? Aze. To challenge the armies of the living God. Remember Christ Jesus once you accept him. He enters into your life. You are no longer the same. Somebody is in you. His name is Christ Jesus. What are the challenges? He said, oh, I was attending to my fathership. When a bear or lion came, I could only use my hand and struck them. Mm, to go be the growth. You could grow in your mother's womb. Here you are walking. Hmm? Okay. To go be the glory. You were not walking before. But you learned to walk. Here you are running. This challenge. Is for your promotion. This challenge will lead you to success. If you acknowledge him who kept you in your mother's womb nine months while you are eating and drinking and the parts of the body are forming inside your mother's womb eating, drinking, breathing, drinking, breathing to go be the glory. Something is going on once you enter in Christ. Hey, to go be the glory. Are you competing? Are you being challenged? When you are a Christian, if you are not a Christian, step into Christ. This challenge will lead you to success. God was looking for who is believing Him brave enough to lead his people to success, to victory. The Bible says, all the Israels and King Saul, they were afraid and ran away. Your clan might have run away, terrified of poverty. Sir, Mama, Nyabo. step into Christ Jesus. So Move on. Move forward. Kenda maso. There is success for you. How many years your clan has been poor? The Lord your God will go with you. Agenda nawe. This time. Kuluno. Yes. And you are going to succeed. Are you poor? Don't bother crying. Enough is enough. Don't negotiate. Enough is enough. Begin prayer. 
The prayer you pray in the name of Jesus will lead you to success. Is it barrenness? Many have never seen a barren conceiving after nine years. You will be the first. Just step in Christ Jesus to go be the glory. Let this challenge lead you to victory. When David defeated the first time. Listen to a disappointing story. I'm reading 1 Samuel 18. Verse 6. Now it happened as they were coming home. When David was returning from the slaughter of the first time, that the woman had come out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with the tambourines, with the joy, and with musical instruments. So the woman sang and they danced and said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. Then so was very angry, and the saying displeased him. And he said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed only thousands. Now what more can he have but the kingdom? So I, David, from that day forward. The challenge you fear to face. The challenge you run away. Sir. Mama, father. Nyabo, tata. There lies your success. It will lead you to success. Is it sickness? How much the pain? It will lead you to a miracle. Is it barrenness? It will lead you to a nursing mother. And the people will always come and consult you. What really happened? How do you pray? That is why today we are at the platform of faith. The champions, they are those who face the challenges. Now they became consultants. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayers and ended. If you are praying one time, increase and pray three times. What happened to Daniel? Mama, Tata. Mother, Father. There is success in your challenge. Stand stronger than before. Believe more than you have ever believed. The more it becomes harder, the more you are going up. Success is just a distance from you. It is at hand. Listen to this. I'm reading Daniel 6. Verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home in his upper room with his windows open towards Jerusalem. He knelt down on his knees three times that day and he prayed and gave thanks before his God 
as was his custom since early days.